Hey guys, so today uh, I'm trying to uh, tame up a uh, dung beetle. We want to start doing our uh, farming and stuff um, in the greenhouse and we need some dung from the dung beetle. Now I'm just going around here to see if I can find one. So yeah, I got a bunch of crap on me. This is my scorpion. He's level uh, 207. He's a uh, this cave only scorpion because I can't get his ass out of the cave. Uh, the cave entrance isn't big enough to get him out, so I just leave him down inside the cave. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the cave I go to, and you know, if we need some chitin or uh, chitin or whatever, just come down here. You can also do a good meat run uh, down in here um, because uh, they got a lot of titan taboas, and yeah, I mean, there's uh, crap for drops down here, but. Whoa, look at that. That's a huge explosion. Alright, so let's go up here and see if we can find a uh, dung beetle. We're going to fast forward the video, guys, and uh, when I come uh, to a dung beetle, I'll, uh, I'll be right back, alright? Alright, guys, so that was the shortest speed up that uh, I, could, I could possibly do. Uh, there's a dung beetle down here, I, I just realized. Um, so, yeah, what, I tried to tame one earlier, uh, and what happened was um, I tamed it, and uh, it went up to the to the surface. Now, I think uh, I might have a problem here, but I don't know until I get up there. So, uh, it got up to the surface, up to the, not to the surface, pardon me, up a little farther ways up the cave, and what happened was um, he wouldn't pass some of the corners. So my strategy now is I'm just going to aggro them because they will continue following you and they won't slow down. Like, I don't know if you guys, you know, when you tame something or you ask something to follow you, as it gets closer to you, it slows down and then it stops a distance away like this, for example. Now, these guys are not aggroed anymore, so I just go over and I have to really aggro them. Okay, so this guy comes along and they don't hit very hard, so it's okay if they hit you a couple times, it's not a big deal. So as you can see, they're going to come right up on you. Now you got to do this in this particular cave. I don't know what the other ones. I tried one other one, but uh, I found that it was uh, it was a pain in the ass because there was um, it was it was basically a, a deep cave, so I would have had to pick it up with a bird or something like that uh, in order to get it up. But if you want to do this one, this is like an easy cave. I'm not sure which one it is. It's the one that's close to our base. Um, if you guys know where our base is, you'd know the the cave. The the first couple of videos that we do, we actually use this cave to get metal and chitin and chitin and all that good stuff. Alright, so I've got the aggro. They're going to follow me up. Like I say, the other one, when I tried to bring it up, say, past this part here, I'd have to uh, really mess with it to try and get it to come around that corner. It'd be a real pain in the arse. But this, see, this is much easier because they'll just follow you. They, they won't slow down. I mean, they're hunting you, right? So... Alright, so I gotta keep going up here. Excuse me, is this guy the level 36? Okay. Oh. Perfect, come on. Come on, boy, come on. I don't even know. If, actually, this doesn't have a sex, it's a sexless, sexless beast, beetle. Come on, fish head. That's right, I'm going to call him a fish head. Fish head the beetle. So these guys are, um, when you're taming them, they're actually called a uh, passive tame. So you don't actually have to trank them. You just feed them meat. Actually, the dung beetle, you feed them poop. I thought it was meat at the start. When I first tried to tame them, I tried to feed them raw meat. And the, the uh, tame bar went up like a little tiny bit. So I was like, okay, well, I'll keep feeding them, and it was like just going up a little bit. What the hell? The dodo? It's just going up a little bit, so I says, all right, well, let's uh, try and feed them, um, yeah, I'll try and feed them, uh, uh, rotten meat. And when I fed them rotten meat, it went up quite a bit. But then I found out if you feed them poop, because that's what they like. They like poop. Um, the, the bar goes up real fast. Now, this is the guy I tamed earlier. Uh... 
Well, he's tamed. But right now he's going to be in the way, right? Because this guy can't get, a, get by him. So I'm trying to kill him. Uh, this is going to go bad because that one's like a level 76. And the other one's only like a level 36. These beetles are like... That's like third shot in them. So yeah, this is not going good. Alright, maybe if I just beat on it with an axe. Let's try that and see what happens. He's already killed the other one. This thing's a pain in the butt. Maybe what I should do is claim it and then take it for a walk. Because, like, like I say, when it's tamed, you can't take it above the uh, where it was. It just it won't follow you anymore. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Let's go back and tame it. Not tame it, but reclaim it. stupid dodo. How the hell did he get in the cave? So as soon as he gets close, he starts slowing down. That's what I was talking about. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down and see if I can get another... Um, get this guy to stop here so he's not in the way anymore. Look at his health. He's like barely hurt. After all those shots to him. So I think these things are immune to gunshots or something. I, I, I just don't know. Okay, so what I'll do is... Um, I'm going to uh, go and find another one. And then uh, I'll bring it up. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I found one. He's over here on the edge. Now I just gotta clean up a little bit, I think. Or can I... No, I should be okay. So I'm just going to bring the scorpion back up, then I'll run back down and uh, aggro him and drag him back up like I did before. So i got a little bit of ways to go. <clears throat> but I'll stick Mr. Meathead here. Um, probably right here. Of course I get off on the wrong spot. <laughs> Out of all the places I decided to stop, there we go. right here should be good. Okay. Back down we go. <clears throat> Remember when I was playing this game uh, before, there was a lot of um, holes that you'd actually fall through when you came into these caves. You'd actually uh, go through the world. This was when it was uh, Alpha, I believe. Anyways, okay, so let's get this guy aggroed, okay. And we just drag him up with us. Backpedal, as they say. <clears throat> Come on, Mr. Critter. He's actually a nice color. Didn't catch the level, though. What level is he? Level... It's 40. Come on, 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 level 40. So this is by far the best method when you're dealing with this cave. If you're dealing... Oh, excuse me. That's what you always want to do. If you're dealing with another cave, um, maybe you want to, um, 
you know, come in with a bird and pick them up with, uh, with your, with your, um, not your Quetzal, but your Argentavis or your, uh, uh, I'm going to call it a Peridon, but it's, uh, you know, the, the, the other bird, Petrodon or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> I never, never remember these names. Okay, so places like this where it's nice and there's that other bug. It's level 12, so maybe we can get the both of them. I don't think so, though, because the level 12 got stupid for some reason. Come on, you. Alright, he's got me trapped here. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, whoa, whoa. See, he didn't even hurt me, but... And now he's stuck again. There we go. Come on. Come on, fruitcake. <laughs> so much of a pain in the ass it is. That's what it's like when they're tamed. They just kind of... They don't want to come up through this little area. I, I just don't understand. Entice him with some shit. A little bit of poop. Oh, crying out loud. Come on, dude. Alright, finally. Holy shit. Okay, so I got Bucksaw. He actually came on, um, and I told him to go and get me some some poo so uh he went to the dinosaurs and i told him uh not to come down here because i didn't want him kind of screwing up the bug the bug would be like aggroing on me or aggroing on him or... so i'm almost up to the top now come on shit head Oh yeah, he's got nice coloring. So there's that other dumb beetle. As you've seen, he was stuck up here. So now he's out of the way, so we shouldn't have any problems with him. Again, I I it. there we go. Oh, stuck. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm stuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Come on, come on, you. What are you stuck? You can't come through this little hole? Yeah, there we go. Oh, this might be a problem. Come on. Yes. Okay, so we're almost up to the top now. There's Bucksaw. And bigot. Yeah, watch out, bug. <laughs> All right. As soon as he gets out here, wait for him to lose aggro, and then you feed him a piece of poop. That should tame him. I think one might do it. Okay, he's got no aggro. Yep, go ahead. <clears throat> you 
yeah, behind them. There we go. Did it do it? Oh no, I guess not, eh? Okay, so you gotta go get another one. How bad is he? How good is he? See that one piece of poo? Almost half tame. Over half tame, pardon me. He's got 99.8% efficiency. He's gonna be level 59. Oh, I just farted. Or shit. Or crap. I can use this. Let's put that in there. Boom. There you go. Oh, he's not hungry yet. Oh, you did? Okay. Um. Yeah, give him yours. Dung beetle. Any time now. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is the kind of way, you know, as long as you're behind them, you can actually sit here and wait. He won't actually attack you. Come on. There we go. Tamed. Now, the reason why it didn't show up with the other one, uh, the, the schematics and all that stuff, because like I said, I tamed one earlier. I just couldn't get it out of the cave. So there we go. It's all tamed up. <coughs> I was following my son. Yeah, we need to leave him back to base. There, take my shit. <laughs> Compliments. So they can't hold a lot of weight. That's the one downfall. So when they do level up, I recommend that you um, you actually pump their weight. Okay, so he's overburdened. So I gotta take the crap out of his inventory, literally. <laughs> There he goes. Pick him up. Pick him up. There we go. Okay, good. I gotta run back to base. So anyways, guys, that's how you uh, tame one of those things. Um, I, the way I recommend, anyways, this is where it is located over here. There's Giga, Mr. Bubba. My son actually renamed it. This is where we're gonna keep it. So the next thing I gotta do is I gotta make a... Um, uh, a cage for it, and we're gonna probably at one point put it inside the actual um, um, ba -ba 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 greenhouse. <laughs> but for right now, um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.